Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. I recently had the great pleasure of recording an Earthworks podcast with our friend Lawrence Mayhew and Jack Higgins, talking about the subject of carbon, something we've been talking here at Earthworks since 1988, long before it was cool. Unfortunately, now carbon is probably the most overused word in our industry, and so many people are talking about carbon, but do they really understand why we use carbon in our programs? Carbon is really designed for one purpose. It's to feed microbial population and to stimulate the growth of that microbial population. Look at this pyramid picture that we've developed. We talk about green, brown, and black carbon sources. Green carbons are very available sources, but not very long-lived. Brown carbon sources are more sustainable, have some availability, uh, but can provide a little bit more legs in feeding microbial populations, whereas the black carbon, Things like humic substances are very sustainable and oftentimes, like humic substances, are not available as a food source for microbiology, but do provide a real haven for microbial populations. Take a listen to this quick clip from our Earthworks podcast with Lawrence Mayhew. That, where he started talking about green, brown, and black carbon in soils and how to encourage them, how to, how to put them into soil, how to generate them, how to preserve them. And his concept is kind of simple. Uh, green carbons uh, will actually produce a burst of biological activity in soils. So sugars, for example, amino acids. So these are all relatively simple carbon inputs, but the intent is to not to bring carbon to the plant, the intent is to bring carbon to the microbial population that will feed on them instantly. Well, if you took only sugar in the morning, <laughs> yeah. you, you will get a burst. <laughs> but you need more sustainable approach to human nutrition, just like soil nutrition is the same way. Good There's analogy. very, very, very little difference. The analogy between what goes on in our gut and what goes on in soil systems are very, very closely related. The same microbes are involved, in fact. Yeah. The soil microbes are found in our gut doing the same thing they do in soils. So then you need some kind of carbon-based materials that come into this system that are a um, lot less explosive, let's call them that way. A little <laughs> more stability, but still the ability to break down to some degree and then to be stable to some degree and to some degree engage in nutrition, engage in exchanges that these complex microbial and plant food exchanges. And that's the and that's what Gary Zimmer called brown carbon. So that's kind of in between the simplest carbons and the most complex carbons.